what's going on here you got modules these are all modules you know what I'm saying this is a mixer this is a mini mixer just kinda like the mixer you got up here you know what I'm saying they just broke it down and made it small it's a line mixer you got a compressor come on bruh you know what I'm saying you ever been to the studio and you seen that you like man I sure wish I had if I had all of that man my stuff would be hot you know what I'm saying well guess what reasons to just put it down for you cause they didn't give you all that stuff all wrapped into one in the virtual world you know what I'm saying and you remember I was telling y'all about you know what I mean the wires in the back and all that if you know anything about a studio again you will know that you know this stuff is all hard wired in check this out you go up to your options you go toggle rack front rear bada bing come on man and all this stuff could be moved around you can take this stuff, move it around, da 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 da, b to b to b, man, this this is just crazy. You know what I'm saying? And this is just in that one sound. We're not even talking about when I load up all the other sounds. Let me go back to the front. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? This this is just one sound. If I close that, all that is is the strings right here. This all that is. That one sound is is just the strings, bruh. And when I open it up, all this that's happening off right here, it's just the strings. Look at that. Come on, man. I don't know. I mean, if you watching this video and, and you saying you got to be saying to yourself, wait a minute now. That that's. I don't know about that. that. That might be a little too much. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Trust me, man. This is not hard at all. It's, it is easy as pie. If you just got a little bit of computer skills, you can figure this out. If you know a little bit about production, if you don't work with a few keyboards out there, you can figure this out because it's very, very simple. And everything is in your face, period, point blank. You know what I mean? But I'm going to close that up because I don't want to scare you because there's it's a lot of stuff out there. But anyway... Hey, you go. You got your sound right here. Now, we're just going to concentrate. I'm not, you know, I probably said I was going to do a track in the beginning, but right now, I'm not even really feeling doing the track right now. I'm just trying to really just show you what's going on with reasons right now. <clears throat> I could easily just diselect this because when you, the way you know you have it selected is when you click on it, you got like a blue deal. I don't know if you can see that. But uh, I'm going to hold the cursor there for a minute and zoom in. That's a blue cursor. That That's an indicator that that sound is highlighted. Now, if I just click into this, this space here where it's nothing there, I can dis diselect that. That way I don't have to worry about it. But the reason why I'm telling you that is for this reason alone. If I select that sound and I say, okay, I like that, but I want I want something. I need some, some, some effects on that or I need some compression or I need a maximizer. I mean, it's just not... It's just not loud enough for me, you know what I mean? You can go up here to create, look at all the stuff that's available for you to add to just this one sound. We still haven't went to the next level. We're just looking at this one sound. You could add a, a stereo imager. You can add a compressor, maximizer, equalizer, uh, mastering suit. If you want to just try to master it and make it sound deeper, you can add a reverb, distortion. Uh, uh, I mean delay I mean it's so many things you can add but let's just try to add one thing let's add a maximizer bada bing that can just hit the, the rack you know what I'm saying now these two are married as you can see when I play the sound look right there you see them peaks now I didn't just maximize that I didn't made that fuller I done made it bigger you probably can't tell because what you're hearing the sound you're hearing is coming from the speakers that I'm where I'm sitting at in my chair the speakers are playing so you're not getting 100 percent quality of sound from what you're hearing but trust me when I say the sound that's coming out of reasons man if you got a good sound call on your computer and you got an all right decent computer when it comes to speed you're gonna have a beautiful beautiful sound that's going to be generated by reasons i promise you that i would not lie i'm telling you you know what i mean so <clears throat> i ain't gonna bore y'all to death man that's just kind of a basic little tutorial on how to add sounds i'm gonna do another tutorial on how to get into the sequel so and all that i just want to kind of show you a little bit on that and, and i'm gonna show you real quick if i keep this selected and i go up here to create i could just start kind of adding all kind of stuff i can add a compressor uh we can go back up here we can add uh 
let's say uh, we got an equalizer you know what I mean it just you can just keep going I can add uh, oh, let's go down here we can add a reverb you know what I'm saying all of this stuff that I'm just adding right here is still connected to that one sound but do not forget do not forget that even this it's already got devices that's hooked up to it. I'm just adding more devices. If we still click this button and open it up, we still got all these devices on top of all the devices I just added. We go up here to options and we push toggle, boom, all this stuff is connected. Everything is connected to that one sound. Now I don't know how that sound is gonna sound now I added all that stuff to it, but let's just give it a shot just for the sake of giving it a shot. producer and I'm not even I don't even work for you know what I mean the company that makes this program I don't work for them I just love doing music I got my own studio you know what I mean I'm, I'm, I got my own website uh, right now it's under maintenance it's called elbowlab.com uh, we're gonna be doing so much hot stuff I got my own record label we doing some things I got a couple of artists that's about to drop doing some hot stuff I love music and, and if you love music like I love music you should be very excited about the possibilities of what this program could could ultimately do for you as a producer so hey come back to my channel check me out uh marcus elbow you know what i mean elbow lab say this is where i'm chilling at and this is what i'm doing i'm working on music man i'm gonna show y'all boys how to work with this pro tools a couple more programs out there so uh hey y'all have a good night and i appreciate you coming checking me out